Howdy gang, Michelle here, and today I want to show you how I did this adorable speckled, I'm calling it a speckled egg because with this shape of cup, it looks like a speckled egg. And I put this beautiful unicorn decal on here because it's very unicorn color and um, it's super easy to do. And this technique was literally one of those I wonder if this would work but there's a couple of steps that you have to take that are super easy and you can do this just as this as you see but without the decal and leave it and just throw a name on there or whatever you like I'm gonna give you the basics on how to do this and the rest is up to your imagination so let's put her aside now here I have a primed um, these are, I got these at Stainless Steel Depot. They are the 25 ounce stemless. These are technically wine, stemless, stemless wine tumblers. So whoever can put down 25 ounces of wine, hey, kudos. Because <laughs> I'm not that person. But um, these are great. I love them. These are so fun to do. Um, a lot of people use these for like snowman cups or football cups or something like that. And I wanted to do something else with them. So this is what I'm going to do with this. But you can do this with any cup that you have. So my cup here is already prepped and primed and ready to go. I sanded it with an 80 grit and wiped it down with alcohol, washed it really good with Dawn soap. And then I sprayed it with um, Rust-Oleum two times in just flat white, matte white. And she's ready to go. So for this, I'm going to be using not only this cup, but I came across these amazing, I'm going to shake this up, these amazing, they're called Shimmer Spray. And I got this, I saw these at um, Michael's, but they only had, you know, like one pack. And I thought there's got to be more than this. So I found that these are sold actually through Ranger Inc. I will have the links to everything that I use down below in the um, description and information below. But these are must have in your arsenal if you don't already. The reason why I'm shaking this is these are a shimmer, which they have like a pearl effect. Now, if you guys had seen my alcohol ink coaster video, it's similar to that pearl, but it's a little different. These you can actually spray. So the ones that I'm going to be using that I used for this cup here, and you can actually see in this cup. Now I did throw a tiny bit of um, glitter in um, the final coat just to kind of give it that little bit of a, of a, you know, the glitter look you can kind of see. But there is a shimmer to this as well, not counting the 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 glitter. I'm trying to see if you can. It's just so shiny. <laughs> Um, but it gives like a pearl effect and it's really, really, really pretty. And you get that from these. So the colors that I'm using today, this is uh, laid back lilac, super pretty. And then we have London blue, which again, really pretty. This one is a vibrant turquoise. Lemon zest. I absolutely love lemon and this is really just amazing. And then finally, we have bubblegum pink. Okay, so we wanted nice bright colors. But when I spray these on here, I'm just going to let you know ahead of time, they're going to be sprayed on here and you're going to think, Ugh, that doesn't look bright and vibrant like this. But there is a secret to it that I came across by accident, which I'm going to reveal to you guys today. So with these, when you use these, please, 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 please wear gloves <laughs> because this stuff really, it splatters, it sprays. And um, depending on how close or far you are, you get different looks. So I did this one on purpose, like a splatter effect that kind of looks like it's melted same with here and here, but then I did far enough ones where it's just the little speckles. See, this is up close and this is just speckled. This is up close. So it's, it's really how close or far you are. And you also want to have either a trash can, maybe an empty box, something close by that you don't mind 
getting this stuff into because you're going to need some kind of backdrop or something that you don't mind get sprayed because if this stuff gets on your skin it stays like I've been trying to scrub this pink off since I did this the day before yesterday uh, acetone doesn't take it off alcohol only fades it a little bit and I wash my hands I don't know at least six seven times a day <laughs> so wear gloves okay so let's glove up and get ready for this and I apologize in advance I have a pup here in the house and her brother is at the spa today and she's by herself and I gave her something hoping that it would keep her distracted so it is for now let's hope it stays that way for a little while so what I'm gonna grab here for my backdrop is uh, an extra piece of um, you know to spray is an extra piece of um, freezer paper or something like that so that way I can cover this area right here also for this um, depending on if you do the decal or not. So because I was putting the decal on there, after I got my color on there and I was ready to set it, I always use, even though the label's different, um, I always use Counterculture DIY Facet. If you haven't used this, it's a must in your arsenal. So this stuff I love, it's literally, as the name says, it fast set. It sets up within an hour and a half, two hours, depending on your location and your humidity, your heat. The whole thing for me, it's like hour and a half ish. So I use that after I have my color set. And then um, once it's, it's cured, I put my decal on. And then for my final coat, I always use Artist Resin, just the regular Artist Resin from Counterculture DIY also. Again, another that you must have in your arsenal. This one is great for thicker flood coats that you want to have that nice glass finish. Just like you see here, this is why it's so super shiny is because of the counterculture. Love, 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 love them, guys. So thank you very much. All right, I'm going to move these out of my way and lay down my freezer paper. And the last one. All right. So the other thing you're going to need, and this is the magic to this whole thing. All right. Is stay. Whoops. Light down. Um, the other thing, whoa, that was almost camera down is, and I know you're going to be like, what? Trust me. So I don't use hair products anymore, but I have a bunch of them that are still under my cabinet. And I had this sitting in there. And sometimes for alcohol inks, I like to use, instead of uh, the clear coat, the Rust-Oleum clear coat, because sometimes the colors will change and just dull out and look really muddy. But um, this is the secret to this cup. Trust me, and you're going to see why. So either, you know, a cheap shampoo or a shampoo, cheap hairspray like Rave or Aquanet. It has to be something like this. Okay. And you're going to see why. So let's move that out of the way. Now I'm going to grab my pretty colors. Got these back. And I, I have this thing for rainbows. I always joke around when people ask me what's my favorite color I say rainbows and glitter <laughs> you can't go wrong right so you want to give these a really good shake it's got a little ball in there and it helps when you shake it up to hear that because when you don't shake it as you can see on this one it's like a really clear liquid up there but then down here you can see all the mixture so give these a super good shake before you use them and then you'll see it all starts to look the same for the opacity. Okay. Now, when I first start spraying these colors on, they're not going to look as pop as it does on this. And this is why the hairspray is important. So what you're going to do, depending on how close or far, so my hand is a little out of the, the camera right now. 
you just want to give a light spritz in various places to the bottom okay that's all you want to do and as you lay these colors on if you have a heat gun this is really important to use too because it helps set this because it's very similar to alcohol ink so i apologize for the noise my dog loves this and she loves to have the heat in her face so she just ran over here so just run this over really quick because you know alcohol ink tends to dry really quick and just run it over it once or twice it doesn't have to be bone dry but you want it set enough that when you spray your other color it doesn't get too muddy All right so now we're going to move on to london blue shake 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 and this is why i don't know if you guys can see this this is why it's so important to have something that you don't care if you get spray on in the background all right so we're good and shaking on that let's pull the lid off and again you want to keep it at a decent distance and just spray and a little no bottom all right close that and again grab your heat gun and just kind of go over it We're going on to the next color and you're just going to repeat this until you have the colors on the way you want and you can use any colors if you go to the ranger ink website they have a bunch and if you're like me you'll buy them all <laughs> because you just never know when you're going to need them when you're going to want them and it's always good to have them in your arsenal because you never know so you can kind of see how i'm holding this do you see right here that pearlescent look that's on here and the the purple doesn't look that vibrant does it and the blue is like ah, eh, it's okay but it's not really as pow as it is on this one but it will be trust me okay because when i first started doing this i was like Ugh, this doesn't look the way i want it to but all right so we're going to get started with the vibrant turquoise and again just start hitting it in various spots and there's no rhyme or reason to this. Just hit it where you think it needs a little love. This is your own little world. As I quote Bob Ross, make it your happy world. However you want. Again, heat gun. Spray, 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 spray. And you can kind of move these around a little bit. As you can see, this one's kind of running, it's chasing. This is how I ended up with that one where it looks like it's almost molted, burned in, okay? All right, now, lemon zest. This is a really vibrant, bright yellow. I love this. I'm not a big yellow person, like I, I don't like wearing yellow because it doesn't go with my skin tone, I'm olive skin. I love lemon. I love lemon cakes. I love lemon desserts. Okay. And again, let's just start smattering it. It's just such a happy color. There we go. Okay. Try it. And you'll see that the colors will start blending like the green and yellow got together down here and had a party. Now, I found with the first one that if I don't dry between layers, they get really muddy looking, and you don't want that. All right, last we have bubblegum pink. This one here. Shake, shake, shake. All right, and again, just start spraying until you're happy with how everything this one really pops while it's wet on here uh, look at that purple that it just created right there oh, 
because I had a little party with the blue and mixing of the the pink. I'm right here. All right, last heat gun. I'm trying to dry this one spot here. I don't want it to roll too much. So don't be afraid to use your heat gun and move it around a little bit. And as you move it around, it'll start drying a little faster. So, and you can keep it concentrated in one spot to help it dry a little faster. It's not gonna hurt it at all, all right? I really love how this one spot just came out. Yep, it's up here. There we go. Woo! He just ran away. Get up there. Get up there. There we go. All right. Focus that on there and get it to dry. And that's okay if you have little imperfections like this. This is not meant to be absolutely perfect. You can mess around with this and make it any way you want. All right. So that's about done right there. Now, when you look at this, it looks nothing like this. So when I looked at that, I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm happy with that. But this is where the magic happens. And the great thing about using this hairspray is you can actually use it in the house. It's not like the uh, Rust-Oleum or anything like that, the clear spray. It's not going to... Sorry, my music just started playing by itself. Um... It's not gonna, you know, bother your breathing or anything like that. So let's pop the top. Ugh. And this is, I, I mean, when I say this is where the magic happens, the sun's coming in because it knows the magic is about to happen. Okay, watch. Look at that. Do you guys see this color popping now? Just go back and forth with it. Don't forget the bottom. Look it, look it, look it. Is that not absolutely awesome? I'm going to get right here because it wasn't enough. How amazing are these colors now? So I'm going to grab my heat gun one more time. And just kind of run it over it. All because the hair spray activated this stuff and really brought it to life. So I'm just going to run the heat gun over this for like 30 seconds or so. Just to make sure most of that hairspray is dry because I really don't want the colors bleeding into each other too much. But look at that pearlescent. Do you see that shimmer right there? Just gorgeous. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is take this, go put it on my turner, I'm gonna let it turn for about 10 minutes without doing anything to it. And then I'm gonna put the first set of fast set on there, seal this in, and then we'll be back. All right, so it's been a good 10 minutes or so. This has been turning and it is completely dry to the touch, not sticky or tacky or anything like that. Got my glove on and I mixed 15 mils total, 7.5 A, 7.5, 0.5, <laughs> B of counterculture DIY facet. Now you do have to work quick with this. Now remember, this is just now if you're gonna leave it just like this, I suggest just one final coat of um the regular artist resin or even made uh, the artist resin medium viscosity because there's no glitter or anything on this, and you can call it done. But I'm gonna put a decal on this, so you gotta mix this stuff fast okay you have a very limited window with this so mix 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 and you don't have to worry about bubbles with this because 
Um, once I lay it on, I do a quick torch, gets all the bubbles out, and then in an hour and a half or so, it's gonna be good to go, ready for my decal. So, quick mix on that. And just lay it all over. Make sure that you also get the bottom. My turner just flipped on me, it's all right. <laughs> go back I absolutely love this turner um, set up my landlord was awesome enough to actually build this one for me there's four that run on here right now but there's a space for a fifth which he's going to be putting a fifth one on here for me because I need it and it's amazing the bearings that he used on this he's a retired engineer so he put some heavy duty bearings on this where I don't even need to worry about it being level. It's completely level and it's amazing. I never have any problems with my cups where, you know, I have fat bottoms or anything like that. So you just want to make sure you get complete coverage and get up to that rim. And the great thing about this, unlike a glitter rim, you really don't have that much to clean off. I mean, obviously, if there's any on the inside of the tumbler, you're going to do that. But you don't have to worry about sanding it down on the edges too much. And I just work up with it. Just make sure I have complete coverage all the way around. All right. I have a little leftover. I'm going to use that for later. And I'm going to grab my torch. This I actually just picked up at a local restaurant supply store, and it's amazing. And just run the torch over it real quick. This gets out any little micro bubbles. And it's also great for creme brulee. <laughs> there you go, make sure you get the bottom. And that's it. So this is gonna sit. going to sit for about an hour and a half and this is going to cure then once it's done I'm going to put the decal on there and we will be back once it's completely cured howdy gang and we are back so here is our beauty all nice and dry I used facet took about an hour and a half for it to completely cure and look at that shine already can we just take a moment and just gorgeous okay so I printed out two um, water slides here and I really like both but I'm feeling I'm gonna go with this one but I'm gonna kind of split it meaning I'm gonna I'm gonna cut him and put him on first and then the word I'm gonna put on after because with this being curved the way it is uh, it would just be a whole lot easier um, and you're probably wondering, like, Michelle, um, why is that backwards? I mirror those images because when I do my water slides, I lay them on with this down. So that way it slides off a lot easier. And this is on clear water slide as well. Now, you can't really do the mirror effect with you if you're using white background water slide because um, you're not going to see that. All right. So because this is clear, you don't have to cut it exact. First of all, I'm gonna cut this guy. I'm gonna use him totally for something else. Not sure yet, but I'm sure it's gonna be something awesome. So I'm gonna cut him out and put him aside for now. And this one, I'm just gonna do a rough cut real quick. And if you're not sure about water slides or anything like that, there's lots of videos already out there. Uh, I'm just going to give you the gist of it. So you can get um, water slide paper. I'll put the link for where I get mine um, from Amazon in the description below. And um, as long as you're using the clear like I did on this one. Now I use um, white background also when I'm doing a really dark uh, cup and I want it to stand out more. Um, but for this one, I want the the coloration to really come through um, kind of like I did with this one here okay um, so 
you print it on there. If you're not using a sublimation printer or sublimation ink, it's a whole nother ball game. If you have just a basic inkjet printer like I do, I have a office jet, HP office jet, 69, 60, 6789, something like that. Um, once it's printed out, you just coat it three times with Rust-Oleum Clear. I use matte always. Spray it once, let it sit for 15 minutes so it's dry to the touch. Spray it again, another 15, spray it again, another 15, then you're ready to go. Okay, and that's what I like to do. So I'm going to cut Fabulous off of this guy. And I'm going to put that right over here for now. And then I'm just going to come in just a little closer just to take out this extra. Now you're really not going to see anything with the white background because printers don't print white. But you want to try and cut it as close as possible, even though you're really not going to see it, just because it's it's a little cleaner in my opinion. And that's just my preference, but to each their own. So you do you, boo. All right, so I'm just going to trim a little bit more. Boop. And that's going in the garbage. Okay. Okay. So for me, I know everybody's different when it comes to their water slides. Um, I prefer, a lot of people say you can use cool water. I prefer a little warmer than warm because it lifts these so much quicker, quicker, I can word today, quicker, uh, to work with them quicker. So put it in and they curl up instantly. Just take it with your fingers, hold it down for, you know, like five, 10 seconds, and then it'll just actually stay there. Boom. There we go. Now I have this little, I'm going to move this uh, over here. I have this little towel I always use and a little pillow. It's actually a wrist rest for my computer, but I never use it. Now I just want to figure out like where I want to put placement of this. I'm thinking like right here because over here I have this up here and then I have this one right here, although those are really cool. But I'm, I'm loving the vibrancy on this. And that is only because I use the hairspray to activate this. And you guys saw how bland and blah it was before I used that hairspray on here. So who knew? Now you know. So yeah, I think I'm going to lay it right here. And you can actually see. I'm going to see if I can hold it close enough. Can you guys see that shimmer from the pearl in those shimmer sprays? I absolutely love them. So... This guy's ready to go. I'm going to pull him out of here. Give it a little shake. Whoop, before I do that. Whoa, he tried to fold back up on me. Take a little bit of water and rub it on there. Okay. Now, I'm just going to lay it right on there. And let it sit for a second and it'll kind of get itself comfy. And just pat it down really lightly. You don't have to manhandle it. Now, I also have these silicone brushes that I like to use. But very gently, slide it down. And as you slide it down, squeegee it to let it lay flat. And don't be afraid to use your fingers. Make sure they're wet when you're doing this. Especially if you're working on curved cups. The water slides tend to be better than using regular vinyl because you can manipulate them more. So I'm being pretty gentle with this right now because I want it to lay nice and flat. And it's looking pretty good. Run your finger all over. If you feel that there's spots that have a little bit of a, a lump in it like that just did, don't be afraid to Spread it out and make it work. There we go. And then use your little squeegee or brush. And just kind of run off any air bubbles that might be in there. Any extra water that might be in there. So that way it dries faster. And no air pockets. No air bubbles. None of that. And don't be afraid to use your finger to just run over it gently just to make sure you're not feeling anything 
lumpy, bumpy that you can't possibly see. Look how cute that is. Fabulous. Okay. So now what I like to do, take a paper towel. Some people like to wet it and do this. I prefer just to take a paper towel very gently and just blot it. Right around it. Make sure you pull up and wipe off any extra water. Don't press and, and pull on this. Just blot it down gently. And it pulls any of that extra water out. Oh my gosh. So it looks like the tip of his horn is like creating this. How, how awesome is that? All right. So there we go. Really happy with that. Now I'm going to take Fabulous here and just trim it up just a little. Not a whole lot because don't really need to do a whole lot. And if you hear chewing in the background, I'm sorry. It's my pup. He's got a knuckle bone. It's the only way I keep them happy. Okay. So now that that is done, that's going to lay right here underneath. So into the water. Hold it down. Actually, that's staying nicely. And like I said, that's the reason why I like to use warmer water. Um not scalding hot, but warmer than room temperature or, you know, cool as people say, because it, it literally takes less time. Normally, if you're using cool water, it takes a good 30 seconds for it to be able to slide around easy with this. When you do it this way, it's just a few seconds, really. It's up down here. Okay. And now I'm going to take some water and just rub it right around here. Try not to get any water on the decal that's already on there. And you can actually, obviously, use any decal that you want. I got this, um, I think I found it like a sublimation sale or something like that. I don't remember. So I'm just kind of eyeballing it here to make sure it's straight. It looks pretty good to me. There you go. And then gently press it down. And then use your fingers and slide that down. Look at how easy that was. Get your brush. I like to call it my squeegee. And just get all the bubbles, all the extra water right out of that. There we go. Now, I'm going to use my my paper towel that I used before and I'm going to use the opposite side so this is the side that is a little damp from when I did that I'm going to use the opposite side and just gently pat down wipe away any excess that you see is dripping on the sides and look how cute that is and the colors Again, this just kind of came together. So we have the purple F here, and it's run with the purple that's coming through here. There's the blues, and it's running with the blues. Uh, the green, the yellow, not so much. The green and the yellow, not so much. Sorry. <laughs> but the red is matching with this over here. So I am going to take this. I'm going to let it sit and dry for about 10 or 15 minutes. Then I'm going to put it back on my turner and get the final coat on there. So I'll see you guys back in a moment. All right. So this has completely dried. It's been about 15 minutes before I put the final decal on here. Completely dry. Ready to go. So for this, I am going to use, because I don't have any glitter or anything on this, it doesn't really need a very thick flood coat. I am actually using Counterculture DIY artist resin medium viscosity this stuff is amazing especially if you don't need a very thick flood coat 
this is perfect for it. So I'm going to do again, just 15, 7.5A, 7.5B, because you don't really need any more than that. And that's going to be, sorry, I'm paying attention to my measuring. Just make sure. Now, with a lot of people, when it comes to DIY resins, a lot of people say, oh, I end up having so much more B by the time I'm done. I found that if you pour A first, A is your thicker one. Since I started doing that, I personally have been having exact some people like to use the syringe method where you can get like a, uh, what do you call it? Like a metal, a medical or a medicine syringe and pulling out exactly the amount you need. In this case, it would be, you know, 7.5. But I found for me, it's easier, less mess. If I just pour A first into my cup, let that settle for a second, just to make sure I'm spot on on my line and then do B my levels have been perfect since. So mixing this, and again, this is another one of them that you don't have to spend, you know, three, four minutes mixing because it's such a small amount and it's a little thinner than regular flooding resin that it mixes up really quick. And don't worry about the bubbles if you have a torch. Now, if you don't have a torch, what I recommend before I got mine was um, after I mixed it, now you can't do this with fast set, only things that are not fast set. Um, after I would mix it really good for about a minute, I would just sit it in a warm bath, like a bigger cup uh, with some hot water in there, let it sit in there for about five minutes and all the bubbles would dissipate. But I found for me, my torch works great. All right, so I'll mix, getting it off there and And just wipe it right over now when you go over your water slides it's always good rule of thumb just to go over them kind of gently there you go even though they're really dry sometimes they can be a little parsnickety there we go and get really good full coverage make sure you get all the way up to the rim I like to personally go over just a little bit up at the rim and then when I clean it up, I just scrape it off and it comes out perfect every time. And the shine when these are done, it's probably one of the biggest compliments I get from customers and the home decor store where um, they sell my cups. The owner there just loves how they look like glass. Get the bottom really well. And don't be afraid at first to just put a little extra and then you can come back like I do once it's on and it feels really even and smooth to run your finger up. And then I wipe it off on my cup, the cup here in my hand. And then I just go right around the rim, making sure to smooth that. One more smash on the bottom. There we go. Now, I'm going to get my torch. And just like before, we're going to go around it once. And you want to keep this moving. You don't want your torch in one place for a very long time. Because it will burn. And then I go around it one more time. And hit the bottom. And then I'm done. And I let it sit. And medium viscosity usually takes about six hours, six to eight hours, depending again on your humidity, your environment, the heat in the room you're working with and everything else. But for me, it's about six to seven hours. So I will see you guys back here in just seconds for you, but a few hours for me for the finished product. Thanks. 
All right, so our beautiful, fabulous unicorn cup is done. And this is actually already sold. Um, a really good customer of mine saw the picture that I posted yesterday and she just fell in love with it and had to have it. So I made her a little matching unicorn straw topper. This will be going out in the mail, but look how gorgeous this came out and the pearl and the shimmer, just beautiful. And the fact that it looks like he's shooting this little spot right here out of his horn that was complete accident and it worked out perfectly. So there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I can't wait to see everybody's take on this because it's, you know, limitless on the color variations and the cup variations and everything else. So thank you so much. Please be sure to leave me a comment and like and subscribe if you don't mind. Thanks gang. Bye.